Hello everybody, it's the farm sim guy here, hope you're all doing well. We are just watching the very last part of our large silage uh, harvest drop into the BGA here. It's been slowly ticking down as the time is moving on. It's 7pm in the evening but I just wanted to uh, capture this before we zip forward in time and take a look at how much money we're going to make at midnight. Now, the people have spoken. At the end of the live stream the other day, at the moment we have combined all our fields into one very large grass field. Uh, but the people have spoken, and we are going to split this into two, and we are going to put cows in. Now, uh, as you can see, the ground is not flat here. But my plan is to open up this area just here. Uh, there's a few trees, we'll need to flatten this off, so there'll be a bit of a bank here, I think, around the edge of the field. If we flatten this area off, remove a few more trees, uh, we'll have a nice space there for our cow yard. Um, and we will take things from there. So, looking forward to uh, getting all of that sorted. So, we have got a lot to do. Now, we also said we were going to plough uh, under all of the straw that we had here on field 10. Even the combine still sitting out here. But in this field, we had all the straw, which we were just going to plough under. Now that's changed considerably. If we're getting cows, we're going to need straw for bedding and for TMR. So um, definitely a change of plan there. What I might do is put the windrow in here and bunch some of these up into dual rows. Because I'll be honest, um, with this combine, um, it isn't a big swath that comes out of it. So for efficiency, I may combine some of these together. So what we will do is probably send uh, the white over here tomorrow with the uh, um, windrower on and pull it all together into bigger swaths. Um, also, uh, the two fields that we have down uh, at the farm, I'm going to keep those as grass as well. We're going to turn half of it uh, into silage uh, for feed as well, and the other half we're going to turn into hay because um, we're going to need to feed these animals. So uh, before we can really get stuck in, we need to make sure that uh, we have food for them. Uh, now that shouldn't take too long, I'm hoping, um, because grass grows relatively quickly. We've got the um, we've got the real grass mod installed as well, so we don't have to wait for the uh, grass to be fully grown. We can cut it at any growth stage, which I know will have an impact on the yield. But um, to get us started, that's not not a big problem. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do now, we'll just hook this up and we'll run this home. Um, and then we will skip forward to the end of the day. We'll have a look at how much we make um, as the clock rolls over midnight from the BGA because that is going to fund quite a lot of what we do next. So we will see you back at the farm. Okay, that's the combine tucked in the corner there. Let us go and speed up time and see how much money we're going to make. So here we go with just 10 minutes to go till we roll over midnight. Uh, we're running at 60 times at the moment, but here is where we will see our income. 280000 dollars That is phenomenal. Wow, that has, that has pushed us almost to half a million dollars in the bank. That's huge. That's massive in terms of what we can do with the farm going forward. There are a few things we need to buy. We need to be a, buy a uh, mixer for our TMR as well as the cattle shed. Uh, but it means we can just crack on with that stuff now. I am also tempted, if we're going to keep bigger fields now, to treat myself to a rather large tractor. So uh, we'll have a look at that as well and make sure we use these funds wisely. Uh, I also think it's probably time to upgrade the combine too. So that kind of money gives us options. The other thing that gives us options is the brilliant classifieds mod by Madify. Um, as you can see here, lots of options in there for classified used equipment I can buy from uh, other farmers. There's a nice rustle mash there um, at the moment. Uh, might be worth looking at. Probably want something bigger than that though, going forward. Um, but definitely options to keep an eye open for as the day goes on. It updates every hour, so uh, definitely worth looking at. And again, in the tools section, some nice planters in there as well. Uh, a nice early riser planter there, um, which would plant um, a lot of different stuff for us. So uh, might absolutely consider one of those as well. That looks fantastic. Look at that. 
Um, so exciting stuff. Right. Um, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. We're back. Okay. Priorities today. I think, um, before we mark out our two fields, I'm really keen just to see what sort of space we need here. Um, for the cattle pen, I've got a few options within the sheds. Um, we've got the modding well cow pasture here, which will take 50 cows and is a, a very, very reasonable 8,000. In addition, we've got the large modding welt uh, cow barn um, for 85,000, which will take up to 200 cows. We've also got the big cow barn here. Which will take 50 cows as well. Um, I'm, I'm almost tempted to go for the bigger one. Maybe we don't put uh, 200 cows in it straight away. But uh, certainly uh, we could start with maybe 50 and see how we get on. But it gives us scope there for expansion, doesn't it? So with that in mind, I just wanted to check how much space I would need. Now looking at this, I'm going to need a considerable amount of space. Um, even if we uh, rotate it. So the uh, we might need to cut into the corner of this field slightly. Uh, maybe we'll do that, or maybe we will actually drop it right back here. I think that's the option. I think it's going to go in those trees there. But that means a serious amount of chainsawing. But the, bon the benefit of that as well is more money for wood. So without further ado, we are going to get chopping some trees down. of a space out there i think i may need to take another row out of here or maybe a couple of rows i mean there's a lot of wood there already but i think we need to cut in further it's almost going to be aligned with the road here isn't it uh, maybe even three more rows of trees um we'll just check now but uh, i think we need to do a bit more yet do you know what it's actually better than i thought if we cut the edge of this field off ever so slightly and reshape it um, we don't need to remove that many more trees. I was going to have it pointing the other way, but if you see it, if I flip it around this way, um, actually that works too, doesn't it? I think I would like the uh, slurry point and the uh, uh, and the manure point uh, this side, really. So I think just another few trees out of the front there and uh, obviously get this land leveled and we can uh, we can place this. Okay, there we go i have thinned out quite a lot more actually and the reason for that is that i want to be able to have enough space to get around the back of it so let's just uh, lay it over the top and see what we've got and make sure that we've got enough space so the decision was we want it this way around which is great um and if i do something like this it means we've got a nice bit of a yard behind us there so we can drive around it and drive through so we've got to make sure that when we mark this off and level this land out that we uh, give enough space on this corner to allow people attractors etc to squeeze through down on the just on the left hand corner there of the shed so um as long as we do that uh, we should be good it is gonna it is gonna reduce the size of this field a little bit 
but not massively if I'm being honest. Uh, it's not going to have a huge impact on the yield of that field and actually we'll probably make more from the cares themselves. So um, yes, looks like we've got ourselves a good position. There might be enough space for the TMR mixer somewhere here as well. It will all depend on how the landscaping goes, but I'm pretty pleased with that. We've got a lot of logs to pick up there though. So we'll jump in to the Mac. We'll hook up the logging trailer and get those all loaded up. Well, there we go. That looked pretty straightforward. There's a nice uh, chunk of wood on there. That'll do us nicely. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother going and sorting this just yet because I'm really keen to get this uh, this shaped out. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to park this up here. And we'll come and get it in a little minute after we've uh, run the... Uh, landscaping tool over our new area. Now what I do need to do is make sure I save it now uh, just in case we make any major messes with our landscaping. We don't want to uh, we don't want to ruin the farm, not at this stage. So um, what we want to do, I think what we'll do is we'll make the entrance here. Um, we'll probably smooth down this edge so we can drive up and down, make this quite wide. Uh, but we're going to cut in and have a a bit of a, a ridge here, an edge to the field. I may even put some more trees in there as a line. I'd quite like to leave this as an entrance to the field still though. So uh, I don't want to lose that. So I think what we'll do is we'll make the entrance to the cow barn just here uh, and then cut in over there. So let's see how we get on with that. Okay, now I do think I need to go further out than that. Uh, this is actually eating quite a lot into our money. It's quite substantial uh, groundworks we're doing here. So we need to make sure that we don't make a mess of it. Um, let's just check that before we do any smoothing off of these edges. Okay, it's, it's actually tight still. Um, I think I'd quite like to maybe just go a little bit further so we've got access on both sides. So I am going to cut in a little bit more here. Um, but yeah, we've we've taken a chunk out of our money already. But um, let's be honest, it's all part of the farm expanding. Let me just check if there's a better way of doing this that gives me better access. Not really, it's going to be the same all round. Okay, um, yep, I'm going to cut a little bit more into this. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that now. Uh, there's our entrance to the field still. Um, I'm going to smooth some of this off. Um, so it looks a little bit neater. Um, but other than that, I think we're done here. I'm kind of hoping that the, uh, the wood that we cut will fund at least some of this landscaping because it has been quite, uh, quite expensive. Um, there's some sharp edges there. I don't think they're going to go. Oh no, there they are now. Um, yes, um, smoothing it off actually doesn't cost as much compared to uh, compared to actually cutting big swathes out of the uh, out of the ground. So I'm pretty comfortable doing this. This is a little bit more uh, relaxing than uh, watching my money tick down as I was digging out huge sections of it. Uh, but this is massive. This is a massive area here, isn't it? I may even put a bale shed or something here. I think I've probably given myself a nice area here to work with. Uh, have we taken a massive chunk out of the field? Not really. You know, the slither runs from there. So it is, it is a little bit, but um, I'm not concerned about that, if I'm being brutally honest in the grand scheme of things. So let's just smooth all of this off. Let's, I want to make sure my uh, entrance to my field is nice and neat we've not got tractors driving over huge bumps so from that perspective i'm pretty happy with that in fact i might go quite big here always nicely smooth things off there we go uh okay i think we're done there 
let us place our cow barn. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna push it back a little bit further now. Now I've got a little bit more space. I'm gonna have a look behind to see how much space I've actually got. Um Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that to be honest. So I'm gonna get a tight turn with a trailer in there. I'll give it a bit more space, shall I? Let's push it right up to the trees over here as well. Boom. We have got a massive cow shed. Look at that. Oh, I'm very pleased about that. 85,000, so it didn't cost us any more in construction costs. Uh, there's the inside of it. Looking good. Um, I believe that's where the milk loading goes. I am going to install the uh, um, animal extension for Global Company as well. Um, we're not living in the Dark Ages, so I think I'm allowed to have uh, uh, water and uh, milk cell point uh, on the farm, which is good. It's quite a nice building. This. You can lift the curtains up and let the cows see outside as well. Um, so I do like this. I'm very happy with this. I've got some nice space around the back here. There's where you put your water in. Um, I believe that's where the animals go. Um, so that's good. You've got the fans as well here. He says, as he can't turn it on, but uh, we'll have a look at that later. Um, so there we go. Lots and lots of stuff. Attention, crazy cows ahead. Okay, great job. Now, one of the other things I need to consider is somewhere to store bales now, because we need those for our TMR mix. I'm going to put them here, I think. This... Uh, this silo now, this silage bunker is going to be redundant uh, as we're going to wrap all our silage. So I'm thinking a bale shed there and I may do a little bit of levelling here and drop a TMR uh, bunker in there as well, or TMR silo should I say. Uh, so what I'll need to do again is a little bit of levelling of this ground to make sure it all uh, works together. I am going to keep this however, it's been a useful tool to have in the past and I don't want to get rid of it just yet, I'm sure it's going to have some other uses for us. So I'm just going to roll it off to the side here and uh, leave it start to look like a real proper farm with just machinery abandoned in uh, all manner of places, aren't we? Um, so yeah, we'll drop this here just out of the way. Okay, in classic style, I managed to not hit the record button so we don't have a time lapse of me putting these in. But here's what we've done. We've added our TMR mixer here and storage, which is great, so you can store things in there. Um, we have got our bale hay and straw storage here um, with the global company's uh, storage mod which is brilliant and uh, we've cut into the the back of this field a little bit to give us the space so we'll need to recut this field edge but we were going to do that anyway as we merge the two fields together so um, not a big problem but a little bit more space it just means it's really convenient here we can mix all of this stuff that we need uh, in one place and then just ship it over to the cow yard. I have left a little bit of space here. We don't have storage for our silage bales, um, but because we're not playing seasons, they're not going to go rotten sitting outside. So uh, we can leave them here nice and wrapped uh, and our straw and hay can go in the shed there. So um, we are we are looking good. We spent a bit of money now. We're down to 211,000 already. One thing we do need is a feeding wagon as well. So we'll need to look into a decent feeding wagon at some point. We don't have the cows yet, uh, and I'm not gonna get any cows until I've got some straw, hay, and silage prepped. Now, um, we have got uh, these fields here again. The grass is growing, ready to harvest already. We've got the real mower mod installed, so we don't have to wait until they are fully grown before we uh, um, can harvest it again. So I am gonna cut this grass straight away again and we're going to split it um, half and half straw and hay and then we're going to grow it again and we're going to do the whole thing as silage so what we need is just to be able uh, to mark out the field edges so we can detect the fields because actually we're going to assign them real field numbers now uh, if you watched the live stream the other day we were unable to do um, the auto bale pickup because um, you couldn't detect the edge of the field it was detecting the old field edges so what i'm going to do now is uh, cut new edges to these fields 
So we will lose a little bit of grass, um, but it'll mean we'll identify the edges of the field. So one run around the edge of our new fields for the two bigger fields. So we'll we'll just do this and we'll see you very shortly. Okay, so as you can see, it's made uh, not a great job of that. It's struggling to pick up all the elements and the edges and it's stopping over here too. So it's not worked as well as I thought. So what I've done is just done a quick lap of the field again um, with the tractor. And we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way, but we know this will work. So we've called that left field, uh, which means we can get the mower in there and we can start cutting that grass so i'm going to do the same for the right field as well get that done and then we can get on with some work so there we go uh field right now done as well a nice big field there so we'll just save that field right and we've got our two big fields to play with now i do have this i'm not sure how i can get rid of this now don't know why it's sticking but uh, i'll live with it for now um we'll work out why that's still there but um it means now we can get the mower back in here and we can get things started so we'll do that and we'll also get the windrower going in the wheat field and start getting some of that gathered up. Okay, batwing hooked up. I am getting to a point now where I do think I need a third tractor because I've got this mowing. I'll have the white uh, making the windrows in the cornfield. Ideally, it would be nice to have a third tractor coming along to bale stuff. Um, we've got the money to do it. So I'm not against it. Obviously, I need to keep some money as well for the cows. But uh, I'd quite like to do it. So um, anyway, let's get this kicked off. And then we'll have a quick look in the classified section. See what's what there. And uh, then we will uh, see if there's anything worth buying. So, course generation. Currently loaded course, we will do... Uh, a couple of headland passes clockwise everything's good there generate there's our new big field quite like that that looks good that is looking fine so we will turn all this n nonsense off and first waypoint drive the course and we'll let him get on with it um, and at this point we will jump into here and we'll have a look at Madify's classified section and see what we've got available to us. Well, none of this is uh, of any use so far. What a decent sized tractor. There you go. There's another 40 series. 59,000. kind of hoping for something a bit bigger, though. I'm going to hold off for now. I'm going to hold off and see what else comes in the next uh, round of of uh, classifieds that come out in here i've got nothing jumping out at me there either so uh for now we will leave that but we're going to keep an eye on things for sure okay he's mowing it nicely there a bit disappointed i plowed that field edge now but uh, it'll come back to us um but he's mowing that that's looking great. Let's go and get the white and get the windrow into the other field. Okay, here we are at the new big field 10. We will just get everything set up here and dive into it. Um, as you can see in the bottom corner there, the 440 is low on fuel. I noticed that and, uh, and then forgot to top it up. So uh, that's on me. Hopefully he'll get through that field before he needs to be refilled. They usually let you know as it drops below um, 
a quarter of a tank so uh, I'll make sure that that's sorted I'm going to think about what I'm going to do I'm going to actually do using um, the uh, variable bale capacity make my bales different sizes so the straw um, is a bit of a filler you use less of that in your TMR than you do hay and silage so I'm going to use slightly smaller straw bales maybe 8,000 litre straw bales uh, slightly bigger hay bales and then the silage bales I'll keep at 20,000 litres and it should uh, mean that you know if we put one of each bale in it will have the, the, the right proportions for the TMR mixer that's the plan anyway um, let's see if that works um, but for now we'll leave him to get on with that um, and we'll keep checking those classifieds uh, when it rolls over the next hour at 10am we'll check the classifieds and make sure uh, we can find ourselves a nice bargain for a new third tractor now we do have some square bales in here which I think we can move over now to our new storage shed um, so I'm just going to change the uh, pickup on this and we'll run them over now because um, it's a nice to uh, free up a bit of space in that shed uh, but also um, I might be able to drop it straight into the TMR mix and see how much it gives us right let's take this one first and it will tell us what it is when we go over it I hope and it doesn't of course I think it must be hay and it's not it's grass typically right that's okay though we can wrap that we can wrap that so I'll just pop it over here again don't have to worry about it uh, going moldy because it is no seasons on this gameplay so I'll just pop that there but we'll bring the bale wrapper over when we're going to be wrapping bales in the field we've got, a, got ourselves an extra silage bale which is good I think these are only small bales, though, only 4,000 litre bales. Get that all in one go. The old FS physics is uh, stressing out right now. They're twitching. Let's see if we can get them over there before they do a major bale explosion. I'm impressed that uh, it's taking this without lifting the back wheels off the ground. We'll just run them over the load point here. There we go. And we should see them at the back of the shed. Super stuff. I think we've got ourselves a really nice little setup here. Loving it. John Deere working in here and the white in the other field uh, and us on the lookout for a new tractor I think we'll probably call it there for this episode well we've made some progress though uh, this is exciting this is probably the single biggest change we've made on the farm for a very long time if I'm being honest um, so looking forward to seeing what we can do our lovely big cow shed over there uh, our facilities for mixing our TMR over there and our bale storage this is going to be huge, I think. So, from me for now, the Farm Sim Guy, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.